demo video of my Logan custom guitars. Uh, this is Bella, who makes her presence known every video. The cat doesn't want to be left out. That's Little Orphan Annie, or Sandy for short. Okay, uh, I have done uh, previously two demo videos of Logan Custom guitars that I own. I have seven in all, but I've done two so far. One was the uh, Logan Custom Challenger. It's Bob's own special design. And I did a demo video on that one that I own of his chat, one of his challengers. And I did a demo video of an acoustic electric that was in the dimensions of a Telecaster, made also by Bob Logan, of course, Logan Custom um, Teleacoustic, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and then we, no, it wasn't a week ago. I, uh, I think it was Juneteenth, my son's birthday. I made a video of uh, just kind of a preview of all the guitars you see hanging on the wall behind me. And just kind of a teaser, kind of a preview of the demos of these. Because most of the guitars that I have from Bob Logan are this Telecaster style of uh, electric guitar. And from my left to the right is the order of acquisition. I acquired this one hanging on the left uh, in 2008 on down to the one on the far right uh, was acquired in uh, June a, a year ago uh, a year ago this month I believe anyway um, I was going to start just in order and do this one with the mahogany body and it's got a, a P9, P90 pickup in the neck position of that but I changed, even though I changed the strings and wanted to use it, it had some switching issues. So I'm not going to start with that one. So I guess I'll just start with the uh, one on the far right, or my far right, and go in reverse order. So with that in mind, bear with me while I get that one down off the wall. Uh, this is my Logan Custom Firecaster 2. Now, the name tells you a lot about it. Uh, Logan Custom. Uh, as you can see from the headstock, the Logan brand name, the logo on the headstock. And a little close-up maybe of the back, or rather the, the top veneer, the face of the guitar. And then again on the back, uh, the back veneer and the sides, uh, the core of the body. Um, so let me tell you about the lumber of this. It's kind of special, and it's the reason for the name. Firecaster, well, I, I've talked about them being in the style of a Telecaster electric guitar, so the caster comes from that, and the fire comes from the fact that we had a house fire on May 6th of 2010. Actually, that was also our uh, one of our granddaughter's birthdays. Um, I forget how old she was. I guess that, I think she was 12 at the time. Anyway, or turn 12 that day, but we had a house fire that day, 4.55 in the morning, we called the fire department, and we sustained quite a bit of damage to the house. The roof was basically gone, some damage to the other parts of the house, but we were uh, fortunate in that we and our pets at the time all survived through it, and uh, we were able to rebuild. So we did the rebuilding, and in the demo process, in the demolition, uh, we uh, I saved a lot of lumber from the house. Now that gets to the type of lumber it is and the type of construction. It, the, the house was built uh, by a family member actually in 1935 and 1936. And the lumber used at that time, typical, very popular for uh, house construction in the day, was old growth, what we now refer to as old growth, longleaf pine. And that longleaf pine was plenteous uh, in, at, in the day and was used typically for construction. And it was plenteous, therefore, in this house. And one of the reasons is because in that time frame, they did not do construction as modern construction is today, where you've got the stud frame, and then on the outside, you have uh, tacked onto it uh, sheetrock, or rather, a rather plywood. And then on the inside, you have sheetrock for the interior walls and 
There's just the spaces in between with insulation and the studs there. Uh, wasn't made that way back in 1936, 1935. It was uh, the studs and then the shiplap construction. And if you don't know what that is, just as a ship is made with the wooden, a wooden ship's planking going, overlapping one another, going from top up and down on the sides of the ship that way, so too was this house made. The interior walls and exterior walls were that shiplap construction, long planks of longleaf pine overlapping one another up and down. And so consequently, after the fire, there was a lot of that old, old growth longleaf pine to be had, especially here on the interior. We uh, cleared out a lot of it and I repurposed some, a good bit of it, a good bit of the lumber into the house rebuild the attic is rebuilt, uh, the attic flooring is from that Longley Pine. But I also sent some of it to my friend Bob Logan in Del Delicatville, Wisconsin. And Bob made guitars for me. The first one he made, this, this one on the right here, uh, in the walnut color, it was made from the planks of Longleaf Pine and the roofing joists of Douglas fir as the core of the body. And then uh, that was 2012 that that one was made, and then it took me a while to uh, work up to it, but I had him make another Firecaster guitar for me, this one, which I received a year ago this month. So this is it, and uh, just going from the headstock on down, uh, it has uh, the split shaft uh, vintage style tuners. Uh, the neck is a one-piece maple neck. The maple uh, neck and fretboard is all the same piece and it has the st skunk stripe there. And it has the medium jumbo frets and it is a medium C profile shape with the fretboard radius being nine and a half inches. Uh, the body, again, longleaf pine, top, longleaf pine veneer, and the core of the body is basswood and it's chambered. So this is an incredibly light guitar, all told. It's five pounds, 10 ounces. Uh, the pickups are uh, DiMarzio Twain King. They're my favorite pickups of all the pickups. I've got different pickups and in, in diff different pickups, brands and configurations in my others. But I actually repeated this one because I found these are my favorite pickups uh, of all that I have. And then it has your typical uh, traditional Telecaster control knobs of volume and tone, single volume, single tone, but not so typical switch. Whereas Telecasters usually have a three-way switching configuration that takes you from the bridge alone to both pickups in parallel to the neck alone. I get all three of those with these first three positions, but the fourth position is both pickups again, but in series. And that gives it a hotter output, more girth to the tone. Uh, so let me quit talking about all of it now and I'll plug into my Vox Pathfinder 15R amplifier. Um, I'll tell you, uh, I, I, yeah, I'll put it in the description below as far as what the settings on the amp are so I, I can get, I can quit talking and get to play. Okay, starting with, and I'll, I'll just have the, the tone and volume controls both wide open. I could, of course, play with the tone, to, tone control and get various uh, shades of nuances from that, but, uh, but, I don't want to make, make too long a video, so we'll just have the tone, both of them dimed, both of them wide open. Here it is on the uh, the bridge pickup. Oh, I mentioned bridge. I should have talked about the bridge. The other aspect of this guitar is that this, this bridge is Bob Logan's. It's not the typical Telecaster ashtray bridge, but it's Bob's uh, stainless steel Logan custom bridge plate and it has, a, has alignment of straight alignment of the pickup versus being slanted as they typically are. Okay, now without further ado, that bridge pickup. <laughs> Thank you. 
to position two, both pickups in parallel. Again, the standard confi switching configuration for the Telecaster. <laughs> Okay, now the third position, the neck pickup by itself. second position both pickups in parallel and then I'll switch from that straight up to the fourth position both pickups in series to give you a, a, a comparison of the difference of the girth and the tone that you get with that position it's like I love it I use it a lot uh, in for gigging purposes it's like having a boost switch at the flip of a switch right on the guitar <laughs>
guitars, my Logan Custom Firecaster 2. I guess the next video I will do, it will be, uh, again, going in reverse order on the wall. So I'll, the next one I'll do, the next demo video that you can look forward to will be